Hi, James. Welcome to the official uh, press conference. Vodacom Bulls versus BHR Stormers. Coach Hi, Dobbo. Uh, what do you think went wrong tonight? I suppose the short answer would be a lot. You know, um, I thought we, uh, you know, obviously credit to the Bulls, they put us under a massive amount of pressure. Uh, I just, we just made mistake after mistake, whether it's not handling contestables, poor line out calls. At first half, you know, 23 minutes, 6 6, you know, it looks up, it looked up, it was 32 6. Uh, so, yeah, I thought our, our more defense was poor. I thought, um, you know, I so say we, they, you know, Mourne stay in the kicking game was really good and, and we didn't defend well. You know, when we turned the ball over with after contestable or whatever, we didn't defend well. I thought for that first, that second half, we were based down in that half here and we gave away holding penalties. That was really, really good. I mean, the fact that the fact is, up when the, you know, when the, when the game was called off, we were about to have our first scrum, you know, on what would have been six <laughs> If a team hasn't given away a scrum for 63 minutes, uh, then they're playing really, really well. Uh, they didn't make an error for that amount of time, so it's credit to the Bulls. Hi, John. Uh, what, do you, what, what do you think were the reasons behind uh, so many things going wrong for you guys? Um, first, the first reason is the pressure uh, the Bulls put out us in the air. You know, I think we lost a lot of those, a lot of those contestables. Um, I thought, uh, you know, as has always been the case, yeah, and has been rejuvenated. Uh, their maul was really effective, and under, uh, when it was six all, we gave away a couple of more penalties, and we defended those mauls really poorly. We went to the system. Um, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> we just made mistake after mistake, but it's a result of being under pressure. Dobbo, with, with the wind at your back in that first half, do you think the tactics were maybe slightly wrong because the guys seem to kick a lot downfield uh, instead of perhaps holding onto the ball? Yeah, I mean, the wind was swirly. We did win the toss and want to go from left to right to try and kick the wind. But, you know, two of those kicks, two of those kicks got, uh, one went dead and one went directly out and then worked two kicks. So, yeah, I mean, actually you got it wrong, but we wanted to play... We wanted to play in their half, uh, and then what, what, what was very good is they kicked those big contestables back into the swirling wind, which we messed up. So, yeah, I suppose in retrospect, um, we could have run a bit more in the first half. Uh, but if you look at the source of, of those tries that come in minutes, whatever it is, minutes 23 to 40, they're from us messing up contestables, Damien getting from really cataclysmic tries. The way they took advantage of them was superb. Dabo, did you get what you wanted in terms of um, attitude, character, and and I suppose, you know, not 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 the technical stuff, but like but players following instructions and sticking to what the plan was. Did you feel like you got that? Um, Lloyd, the, you know, if I'm going to say I blame the players' character, then I'm passing it on to on, on to them. I, I thought our body language was poor. We looked tired up here. Uh, you know, when you can see two or three tries in a row, the pack takes shots and they look tired. You know, we were frustrated with our body language. Um, I tell you where I did think we showed some character it was after half time is that, you know, as I said, that last 15, 20 minutes, we were a few times on their five yard line giving penalties. Um, yeah, I mean, the guys are, the guys are very disappointed and, uh, and, you know, I think we're all embarrassed, um, including myself. But for me to push on the players by saying it was their character wouldn't be fair. Um, coach, uh um, for young, yeah, um, um, oh, that's a bit of strong words you said there about the body language not being so good in the match. So, is it is it is it unfair of me to say that it, it was a rather a blessing in disguise in that that the match was called off? Uh, so, what, what what do you mean by the strong words what I said about the body language? I don't understand that, so I can answer your question properly. So, Chris, I want to understand. I'm, 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 I'm missing, I want to understand the question. Sorry. Sorry? sorry, Chris, I didn't quite understand the question. Do you mind repeating it? Sorry, 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 Coach. Coach, I was asking you, you mentioned now in, in your answer to um, your previous answer that, that the body language says they were very tired. Is that not concerning for you, though, as a coach, though, especially in, um, noting that there were still 17 minutes on the scoreboard, though? No, so I'm referring to the first half. 
I'm only referring to that period in the first half when they scored three back-to-back tries. We looked tired then. Uh, and I think it's the pack concedes through two or three long-distance tries. You're going to look tired. I'm only referring to that. No, I thought in the second half, our body language is good. We played with much more energy. Um, the guys wanted to get back out there. You must understand, this is a very, very proud rugby team with some really good players. Um, we were camped, as if you watched, other than that, that, that try, where the whole, half, whole of that second half was in this half here. We entered there five metre times, two or three times, only to concede penalties. The players absolutely wanted to get back out there if it wasn't for the lightning call to try and redeem some pride. They'd set themselves a target for how many tries they wanted to score to redeem pride. It's a very proud team. We definitely wanted to get back on the field to try and because we feel we feel embarrassed by what by that scoreline and how we played. Dabo, Brendan, yeah, just uh, I was wondering how much the off-field stuff is that's been going on over the last couple of months has that had any, any effect on, on on you guys? Do you think that had any effect on that? No, I, th- I don't. I, I think uh, we must look internally at that. Um, you know, the guys were. Prepared, well prepared for this game, up for it. Um, uh, you know, I can't talk maybe to what they're thinking in their minds deep down about their futures, but they, they, were, they were keen to play prepared, just beaten by a much, much better team on the night. Tabo, uh, 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 did you expect perhaps something different from the Bulls? Um, maybe a bit more kicking and, and not so much ball in hand stuff from them. Did that maybe catch your players a bit off guard? No, no, I think we, they, played, they played exactly how they played for the last while, and I thought exa- that's clever. I mean, Mornay's kicking game is superb. Um, you know, that they, they really turning, running the ball off, us, us messing up contestables, or us turning the ball over. That's how rugby's played now. You know, like the Sharks before lockdown, they were kicking, Kerwin's kicking so well, guys are scoring off turnovers. Um, I think the way they did play with quite a bit of width, and it's very challenging because, you know, with a guy like Mornay, if they played it with width, and your wings come up, he's going to kick the ball in behind you. If your wings hang back, they're going to play with width. No, they played, they played clever rugby, but pretty much what, what, what we were expecting. John, uh, um, just taking it forward now, Coach, um, do you think you guys have enough time to turn this around quickly, though? Because if you look at some of the other teams, like the Cheetahs at the moment, of all teams, if you look at the Bulls, like you rightfully mentioned, do you think you guys can turn things around as quickly as possible? Yeah, unquestionably. Unquestionably. Uh, um, you know, the, 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 this result for us feels so, it feels absolutely, ter- it, you know, it feels devastating. But the, um, the talk in the changing because we've had 20 minutes there or half an hour there waiting to find out if we're going back on the field. Or the players saying, this, is, this isn't us, these are our plans for turning it around. You know, I've been in, uh, I've been in competitions before where we've had a really unpleasant defeat on the road. I mean, I think when we won the Curry Cup in 2017, we got a hiding here, we lost Tim Kim, we lost Tim Kim as we win the trophy. What counts is the 23rd of January and how we react to this. And I've got no doubt that we've got the character and the players in that dressing room and the, to, to, do, to do so. So, yeah, we'll be back. John, do you feel uh, all the sort of COVID drama that you guys have had to deal with in recent weeks, do you, do you feel that that um, sort of saps a little mental energy from the guys? Has it been tough dealing with that? Uh, yeah, we've got, we've got away reasonably likely with it. You know, it was only last week we really had an issue. Um, no, I think we tonight we were beat a bit. I mean, I know it's a cliche in rugby, but we were beaten by a team that executed better. As I say, for us not to have a scrum feed till 63 minutes shows how absolutely clinical those balls were. You know, and uh, um, that means they haven't made a knock on or of a form for the thing. They haven't uh, thrown and secured a line out or whatever the yeah you know, whatever the scrums are given for. So, um, and I, you know, and I, and I think and I'd hope it was it's reflected and that. You know, 23 minutes in the second half, territorially, we were playing. We were starting to put, some, put them under some pressure. A couple of line breaks we didn't convert. You know, that Rickus Pretorius line break, that was the Bulls in the first half at finish. Uh, ours, ours ends up a penalty against us for holding. So, um, yeah, so, I, no, I don't think COVID or anything like that. I think just credit to a really, really good two weeks in a way. Now the Bulls have been absolutely magnificent. John, uh, John Brennan here again. Just what's it going to take? Uh, of you getting a bit of mm-hmm. reputation coming to the office and not finishing games. The last one with Western Province in the Curry Cup also only went one half. Uh, <laughs> are you hoping to actually finish? The difference was last time I think we were 14 0 up at half time. Uh, so I didn't mind going off. <laughs> um, yeah, no, look, of course. But I mean, I've, I've been sincere. The guys really wanted to come back on because no, nobody really wants to leave here 39 6. You know, and, uh, 
Tabo, uh, uh, um, this is a short competition, the Super Rugby Unlocked part of, of the season. Is it too early to talk about selection? Um, I know it's only been a few games, and yes, it was a great comeback against the Pumas, but before the comeback, also uh, uh, the performance wasn't up to standard. But you want us to change selection? I'm just asking, uh, are you now starting to wonder about certain selections, or are you confident no, no. that the team selected tonight is still... Yeah, Ashfaq, it's a good question. You know, we, we took a policy, and I don't think it's unreasonable. I don't think it's, I don't think it's pretty widespread across rugby that you give the guys sort of almost three games. You know, it's hard to judge somebody on one game because that comes a knee-jerk reaction and stuff. I think after three games, you've got a reasonable sample size. So that is uh, something we'll look at, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so anxious to, for you to, for everybody to understand that we're beaten by a really good Bulls team. But, you know, if you take out uh, the World Player of the Year, Sia Khaleesi, Ruan Nel, Sia Bellis, Amartla, Sergio Peterson, it's so quite a lot out of our team for a game like, against a team as good as this. And there are others. So, um, we were a bit, we were a bit hamstrung, pardon the pun, because our three of those guys are hamstrung injuries in what we can actually do uh, in, in terms of selection. I think we missed, you know, I think we missed the skipper tonight. And obviously, a guy like Peter Steph would have been massive. But that's, that's the cards he dealt with. And... Uh, We'll try and make some lemonade in the future. Ask we have last questions, eh? Like Dobby needs to get back. Jump off the fifth floor. All good. Thanks, Dobby. Thank you, Dobby. All good. Thanks, thanks, Dobby. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Scott.